check for advanced restart button it's available in this rom you can directly boot into recovery using this if you don't have that you need to manually boot into recovery by pressing the volume up button and power button simultaneously use the latest recovery always i'm using your orange fox latest recovery for redmi note 7 pro use the same once that has been booted go to this delete section i mean wipe section and select this advanced wipe and select dalvik cache and system vendor and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done again go to home section here and select the files and wherever you downloaded the rom zip file select that folder particular folder first flash the firmware always here the violet in global 12.5.1.0 is the latest available firmware for redmi note 7 pro first flash that done again go to home section here and select the rom zip file in this video i am going to show you the voltage os 1.5 flash it it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed you can see here the rom zip file has been flashed successfully this is a vanilla os build you need to flash the gapp separately keep in mind this one i am flashing here flame gapps canary 12.1 here this is a 12.1 android and so you need to flash the compatible gapps then only it will be bootable into that particular rom As you can see the GF cells of flash successfully go to home section here there are two methods either you can flash this fkip disable v3 zip or you can format data it's up to you if you want to store data like that only you can do this method fkip disabler v3 flash this if you want to clean flash it then go to that format data method again go to home section here and select this menu and select the reboot and select to system this is how the flashing method of voltage os recent update for redmi note 7 pro it all depends upon you guys which version you choose the VG vanilla OS or GAPS. Most of the time both will be available. For this time it's only vanilla OS. And you can see here it's booted into vanilla OS. In this video I am going to explain everything regarding this ROM in detail. Stay tuned till the end of the video and let's begin this video. Hey welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath SamFX Redmi Note 7 Pro custom ROM reviews you can see here the voltage OS 12L with official OS version 1.5 you can see there the security badge is May 5th 2022 latest one kernel used here is 4.14.246 kernel has been used ceiling status is M4 sync and build date is May 9th and you can see here it's an Android 12L that's how it is and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 10 minutes you can see here sorry 11 minutes you can see here the maximum is 136 and average is 120 and minimum is 101 million GAPS and there is little bit of throttling going on 80% of its max performance after 5-6 minutes it's going on it means there is a little bit of throttling going on in this particular room it's quite obvious it's not too much throttling but there is throttling that's how you need to keep in mind not just that coming to benchmark results like Geekbench scores here you can see here the single score is 491 and multi score is 1386 and kernel as I said before Linux 4.14.246 has been used here it would have been better if it is around 500 and 1500 but still it's a very good score i don't believe in these scores actual performance is very important and the bgma how it handle i will be showing you within a while and you can see here the overall score in the android benchmark results are 283283 and temperature raise was just 1.2 degree celsius and battery drop is a little bit higher four percent but it is fine enough that's how it is the scores and uh, 
regarding the safety net status it will get passed fortunately as you can see it's get passed you can use all the payment applications like phone pay paytm whatever you want to use you can use that those things are working fine whenever you flash a custom rom these things you need to be considered first the safety net status and the benchmark results you also can try them and these are the quick settings panel as you can see the location is turned on by default and even some of the options like sync also you need to turn off them whenever you flash the rom it will be turned on like that only it will drain the battery that's how it is and dialer working fine you get direct video call feature no problem regarding that earpiece also working fine no problem and i have like 100 mps geography fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mps that's also not a problem even with mobile internet also it's working fine carrier aggregation is also working fine no problem regarding that and anx camera is pre-installed in this particular room that's very good here you can see here you can use all the options in this working fine if you want something advanced then you can try out gcam port also that's also going to be working fine here no problem regarding that and coming to drm info l1 status such that you can watch all the audit application in hd resolution that's also not a problem here that's how it is this is the basic things and settings everything and let's move into actual settings as you can see here you get power hub in this lot more customization is available the voltage os is very good customizable rom status bar you get plenty of options here including traffic indicators you can customize them clock style clock and date view icon style volte icon style and mic and camera privacy and indicator also you can disable or enable from here and battery icon there are few presets you can adjust them that's how it is and into quick settings again there are again plenty of customization qs pull down require unlocking brightness control auto brightness, brightness icon you can enable or disable from here and coming into button settings you get here also plenty of options there is option of invert three button navigation bar few people asking about this it's available and uh, into themes you get these kind of options there is a little bit of lag let me show you again okay it's happening once in 10 times okay that's fine dark theme there is option here and there is a use black theme if you enable pitch if you want pitch black condition then you need to enable this option don't forget to enable this in a dark theme and chroma factor you can adjust from here also do comment on guys how you use your smartphone with light mode or dark mode let me know in the comment section and in the power menu you get this kind of options advanced restart button is also available notifications everything is working fine you can see here vibrate on collect call waiting and disconnect you can enable or disable from here power menu as i said before and notifications also i said miscellaneous settings this is very important and pulse settings you can enable from here there are plenty of options also and customization once you enable that you get plenty of options here and fingerprint success and error vibration also you can enable or disable from here and unlimited photo storage in google photos and uh, unlimited high fps in bgmi like games you need to enable these two options in order to get those things this is very important few people directly jump into my gaming part of the video they will comment down that how to enable you need to watch the full video then only you will understand how to enable them i hope you guys understand that this is how the power hub i mean the customization hub in voltage os and the app section you get default apps from here you can choose the launcher if you want to change the launcher dialer default dialer you can change from there and battery you can see here battery usage this is one hour nine minutes i just copied a few files hence it's showing charged like that this is how the battery life battery life is not great enough but definitely it's good enough considering this is very good performance rom you get up to 60 fps gaming also i will show you within a while and in the sound settings you get all the basic settings like touch vibration haptic feedback you can enable or disable from here and me sound has like this one the direct sound settings are also available you can choose the headphone type and preset type from here you can see here vibration intensity also you can adjust for notifications rings and haptic feedback that's really cool thing there is a pattern type of vibration where we see in some other roms like yesterday i made a video on elixir os there we have patterns that's not available here it's different than that one and display settings you can see here colors are kept adaptive keep it boosted it depends upon you how you like and ambient display is also working fine no problem regarding that 
and into system into the gestures into system navigation into gesture navigation again here you have option to increase the pill length but not height but still it's visible you can see here there is a differentiation between the actual screen and the pill that's really important if you have that kind of option then it should have the differentiation factor here advanced gesture options are also given here you can see here this is how it is and let's see the bgmi how it handle in this particular voltage os for redmi note 7 pro you can see here the graphics is available up to 90 fps but hardware support is for redmi note 7 pro is just 60 you can keep to extreme only if you keep 90 fps it's still going to be in extreme only let me show you other the gaming mode i should enable that before only and let me show you in boot camp how it handles and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like many people watching my videos but not subscribing it give it a subscribe and let's see how it handle in boot camp as you can see so there will be like i have seen three different types of people if i am wrong you can comment down in the comment section below one will push the rank like up to a's or like that the other person will play for just fun like tdm or like that or rush gameplay and some other people like both they can play for them i can justify that this rom is okay for rank pushing and rush playing also you can try it out but there are particular gaming roms you can try those things you can see here now in the boot camp there are a lot more people coming here this is a hot spot and you can see the volume and what benefits you get from custom rom is the performance not just the unlocking high fps is not just the benefit you get you also get a overall performance of the rom as you can see it's smooth enough you can see here that's how it and again set to same graphic settings you can see here smooth plus extreme only i also recommend to keep the same settings don't try 90 fps the hardware level support is not available for note 7 pro you can see here it's handling fine the touch response is also very good And regarding loudness and volume panel you can see here I can't show you the FPS count but it is good in TDM you usually don't see low FPS I mean f falling of FPS it only happen in rush places as I shown before in San Oak like that places Okay, I will come back and show you the charging animation. You can see here. That's how the charging animation is working fine. Not slow or not even faster also. It's fine enough. And let me show you the fingerprint unlock also. You can see here. Just tap unlocked. Just tap gets unlocked it is very quick and even the face unlock also very quick to unlock you can use face unlock also as you can see it's so quick to unlock your smartphone in this voltage os latest build on redmi note 7 pro and coming to verdict if you want a very good battery life rom then you can skip this rom it's having very moderate to low battery draining is there but it's how it is and regarding the performance there is no compromise in this particular rom very good performing rom this is even with if you don't play bgmi like games if you want to use it as a daily driver for normal tasks also it's very good you can definitely try it out as a daily driver and we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now